Randall Einhorn, who directed 10 of the 12, 13 episodes? Uh, yes. He kind of gave a blurry answer about you and Elijah's characters coming together in a romantic union in this show. Can you talk about exactly where this is going from where we are now? You know, I'm not a writer, so I actually don't know where our relationship is going. But, um, you know, right now I'm having fun because Chris Klein's my boyfriend. And I don't know if you've seen him lately, but he's looking pretty hot. So I'm, I'm enjoying working with Chris right now. So, But we'll see. I, I honestly don't know where, the, where it's going. Well, have you shot all 13 episodes? Yes, we finished. Okay, so you know as far as this season where it goes. Can you give us a little bit of a hint or is that like a no-no? That's a no-no. Now, we talked about dog ownership. People get really attached to dogs even if they're not theirs and they're around all the time. Is there going to be a conflict between you guys about who is actually the owner of, you know, Wilfred? And is he going to throw a coup and walk out and say, I'm not yours, I'm his? Is that that moment? <laughs> oh, no. Wilfred is a very loyal dog, and he, he definitely loves Jenna. So I don't think he's going to be leaving her for Ryan anytime soon. Because Jenna's a lot prettier than Ryan. Admitted. So, and he wouldn't leave her anyways. Now, we saw the, I think, it wasn't the last episode, I think it was the third episode about the Chicks with Dicks episode. Do you remember oh, this? Too. Yes. Now, that was a very strange and dark episode. Yeah. How much stranger and darker is it going to get in the next seven episodes that we haven't seen Aaron? I'd say that's a very Disney PG version of where the show's going to go. Um, tonight, actually, episode five, it starts to get pretty dark. And there's a couple episodes where I, I don't even know if we're going to get to air everything we shot because it starts to get pretty dark and pretty, pretty twisted and very, very funny. And I know the original show, I've seen the episodes they aired them on FX, or not FX, wherever they aired them before. Well, no, they aired them here in America on uh, IFC. They aired them. And that show is, has such a dramatic arc to it that is surprising in a half-hour sitcom. Do you find that that like element is being drawn out more as you guys went along in this season? Yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, some episodes have more moments of ridiculousness or more, more silliness, but I, I do feel that by the end of the season, things, things are pretty serious. Yeah, so. Well, you mentioned Chris Klein. So far, we haven't seen a whole lot of him. How much more of a role is he going to play in this? I mean, is he? Chris Klein has some very, very funny stuff coming up, and we have the, you know, the the four of us have some great scenes together. I'm very, very excited to see them actually. So there's kind of like a love triangle, but it's kind of a love rectangle. Is that what? Yeah, is I, would say, <laughs> I like that Re <laughs> love rectangle. I think that's a fun, fun term because you never know who's rooting for who and who wants what to happen and. I guess aloof may be the word to use for your character early in the season because she kind of doesn't, I don't know, she's kind of teasing. The you know, Jenna, it's, it's not necessarily that she's aloof, it's just that she's getting to know Ryan. And she's also just so focused on her career, she's just moved to LA, she has so much going on around her that she's just kind of getting used to everything and getting to know him. So, and you know, she's not, maybe not, is, she might not be aware yet of, of his, his feelings. I'll ask one more question then let you go. I talked to some of the other guys about this. Is When I watch the show, for whatever reason my brain does, I am envisioning this dog. I'm almost seeing it as the dog. I wonder, do you do that or do you only see Wilford as Jason in this costume? <laughs> I, I only see Jason in the costume. I actually have to make an effort to not see Jason because sometimes it's like I'll look at him in the eyes and I just start laughing. And I'm like, so I have to, uh, I have to really remember that he's not my, my good friend and that he's, that to treat him like a dog.